Good morning, good morning, good morning, um, Grace Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church and all others. My brothers and sisters, so glad that you could join us this morning on Facebook Live. Uh, do want to thank everybody for being here. I see that there are two here uh, listening. Want to thank you, uh, Dion. We see you uh, being on. Thank God for you uh, uh, attending today. Uh, let us start out with uh, our mission statement, uh, and then from there we will go to prayer. Uh, as in our tradition, our mission statement reads, the Grace Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church is commissioned to reach the unsaved, restore the unchurched, and make disciples within the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. We are committed to evangelizing sinners, equipping saints, and elevating society by responding to the biblical challenges of our society. Our ultimate goal is to be a biblical model that glorifies God, expresses the love of Jesus Christ, and impacts the world through the uh, empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Let's give God a hand clap of praise for giving us uh, a, a mission statement, a, a common purpose for being here on planet Earth. And we receive that mission and we uh, uh, desire to accomplish that for the glory of God. Amen, amen, amen. I want to thank those, our members who have been faithful um, uh, throughout uh, this uh, even pandemic, um, that uh, they've been faithful in attending uh, our Sunday services and also prayer meeting. One want to thank you for uh, being faithful. One want to thank you for your faithfulness and your giving. Audra, I see you haven't, haven't seen and talked to you in a long time. Uh, so glad to see you uh, this this morning. Uh, I uh, want to uh, uh, to uh, remind us that uh, uh, that we are going to have the state of the church uh, this February the uh, third, fourth, fourth. That'll be not this uh, Sunday, but Sunday after next. I do want to uh, uh, not? I mean Wednesday, should I say? Uh, the uh, fourth of uh, February. I do want to encourage all of our members to uh, uh, attend. Uh, we'll have it on uh, Zoom and uh, on uh, immediately after our prayer meeting. Uh, do want you to be available for that. Uh, well, let us go on with our service today. Uh, let us start out with prayer. Let's invite the Holy Spirit to come in and uh, do all that he uh, has been called to do. Also, before I start that, let me also thank uh, Gennaro Munoz uh, for the fine job that he has been doing, uh, filling in for the pastor when he's um, unavailable. Uh, I want to thank him for the fine job that he did on last week. And then I also want us to continue to uh, pray for uh, Sister Lincoln, who uh, uh, buried her father on last week, want us to be uh, consistent in praying for her uh, as she uh, deal and grieve uh, the loss of her father. All right, but let's go to God in prayer. Father, we come in the precious and powerful name of Jesus, who's truly the Christ. We pray now, God, that you would, uh, Lord, be in me and with me as I proclaim your word. I pray now, God, that you would forgive me of my sin. Forgive me for falling short of what I could have been, could be. And we thank you now, God, for the shed blood of Jesus Christ, for adopting me and writing my name in the book of life. And we thank you for all you're going to do. And now, God, we pray now, God, that your word will go forth and that it will accomplish its every purpose. In Jesus' name, amen, and thank God. 
Amen, amen, amen. All right, well, that leads us to uh, what we come to do today. I want to just share as we start a uh, the new year off, I want us to start out with the right perspective. I want to talk today about having the right outlook, having the right outlook, having the right outlook uh, about life. Amen, amen. I want to take that from the book of Job, the book of Job, found in the first chapter. I want to start reading at the 18th verse and uh, up to the 22nd. And it reads, while he was still speaking, yet another messenger, y'all know the story of Job, um, who lost his uh, loved ones. Uh, came and said, your sons and daughters were feasting and drinking wine at the oldest brother's home house. And when, and, uh, when suddenly a mighty wind swept in from the desert and struck the four corners of the house, it collapsed on them and they were dead. And I am only the one who has escaped to tell you. At this, Job got up and tore his robe and shaved his head. Then he fell to the ground and worshiped and said, Naked came I from my mother's womb, and naked will I depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. In all of this, Job did not sin by charging God with wrongdoing. Amen. I want to talk again of uh, that idea of having the right outlook on life. And when we have the right outlook on life, we'll have uh, the right outcome. And I think that uh, one of the someone said uh, that perspective is everything. If you have the right perspective, then you will have the the kind of life that uh, uh, will glorify God. And uh, and so I believe that Job had the right perspective, Amen. So that he could face whatever. Uh, uh, life had uh, in store for him. Amen. And I want to talk today about just three things that's in that straight from that text uh, today. Um, the first thing is the Lord gave. The Lord gave. I want, want to talk first about the abundant riches from God. The abundant riches from God. We know that God, uh, listen, is the, the, the giver of every perfect gift taken over there in James 1 and 7, that every perfect gift, every good and perfect gift come from the Lord. We know that whatever God gives us is good and is perfect. Amen. Even when sometimes, amen, it does not seem as though it, it's good and perfect. Amen that we know for believers that all things work together for good. And we thank God for that, that God uh, is able to, uh, the only one who can take a, a crooked stick and hit a straight lick, that everything that God does is good. Even, uh, and, and, and we should know uh, that, that God has, as believers, that God has our best interests at heart. Amen. And uh, 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 we're, we're told that uh, in, in everything that we do, that God is looking out uh, for, uh, our, 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 uh, for our best interests. Amen. Um, we need to know that, that, that uh, God gives us good gifts. And so... Uh, but that's the first idea in this text that uh, the Lord gave. Everything that God gives is good. The second idea uh, in this, this thought is 
the, the authoritative right of God. The Lord has taken away in this text. Uh, God uh, saw fit to have taken uh, the uh, Job seven sons, three daughters, seven thousand sheep, uh, three thousand camels, uh, and, and and five teams of oxen and five hundred female donkeys, and then. And Job said that the Lord gave. Amen. And then also in this text, it says that uh, the Lord has taken away. And the second idea is the authoritative right of God. And it says that if the Lord gave, he has a right uh, to take away. Uh, I'm reminded of this, uh, of a story that was told uh, by uh, Dr. Harry S. Wright uh, that uh, tells the story that when uh, World War II, um, he had a neighbor that was uh, called into the armed forces and went to, to fight in the World War II, and he loaned uh, the Dr. Wright's family a uh washing machine. And um, in that, uh, he had, after he had served uh, his term in the service, he came back and uh, took his washing machine back. And Dr. Wright says that he had, at that time, he had the audacity to, to get mad because his neighbors took his washing machine back. But uh, after he said that he had matured and thought about it, he saw that the, the man had a right to come back and take the washing machine that he had only loaned a man, his family, because he was going off to fight war. And that's the way it is with, with God, that, that if God, a man, has uh, given us uh, a gift. He has a, a, a right as the owner uh, to to come back and take it. That we are only stewards, amen, to of of things, and we ought to hold everything that got, that we have loosely, because it is only on loan. It is only uh, we're only the stewards of the things that we own. It's only we get in trouble when we begin to think that we own what we have. Amen. We ought to hold everything that we are have in our position loosely because we could be taken from it or it could be taken from us. And we only can own what cannot be taken from us. Amen, amen, amen. And so we, the, the Lord has the authoritative right, amen, to take back whatever he has given us on loan. The third idea in, in this text uh, is found uh, there in that same verse. May the Lord name, may the name of the Lord be prayed. And in that idea is the appropriate response to God. The What is the appropriate response to God? That God named be praised amen in whatever situation that 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 god named because whatever happens amen it is for our best interest amen that a mature christians praise god in spite of the verdict or the decisions that he may make amen because uh only god has a, a bird eye view of, of life Amen. Um, and I'm reminded of that idea that when we are experiencing life, we all, we all only have a, 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 a small or, or skewed view of what's going on. God has a bird eye view. Amen. Um, and I'm reminded is a uh, or football uh, on field 
uh, when you're on the football field, the uh, coach ha has uh, what you call earphones, and he only he's talking to uh, those, amen, to somebody uh, in the uh, up up uh, has a, a bird eye view on what's going on in the field. Amen. And so that's the way it is in life, that God has a better view of what's going on than we do. And so he has a, a, a better uh, perspective of what's going on versus us as man. Uh, and so he has a right to do that. Um, I uh, uh, want reminded uh, as I conclude, uh, my grandmother used to have the hobby of crocheting. Some of us don't know what crocheting is. But I remember as a little boy, uh, she would uh, be crocheting and and, and I would uh, look be looking up at the crochet from the ground looking up. And it would look strange and uh, out of proportion. A amen. And uh, I remember that when she would finish it, she would turn it over where I could see it. And it was a beautiful picture of something. Amen. But from the ground looking up, it did not look beautiful. But when you turn it over and looked at it from her perspective, it was beautiful. And that's the way it is with life, that God is 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 crocheting things out and working things out. And from the ground, sometimes doesn't look uh, as well as it looked when she turned it over and saw it from her perspective. We thank God for that. We thank God for being the kind of God who has our best interests at heart. Amen, amen, and amen. And so as we start this year out, we pray that we have uh, the, 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 a, a better perspective on life, of having looking at life right, and, and therefore we'll have a better outcome. And we thank God for that. Amen. That concludes today's word. We pray that, uh, that uh, it helps you. If you uh, have had a church home, we pray that you uh, be a part of that church. Amen. That you uh, would participate in that church. If you don't have a church home, we'd be more than happy to have you to become members of the Grace Tabernacle Church. That you can call me at my on my cell at 972-750-7578. I want to encourage our members to continue. That we're doing such a good job in our giving to continue to give uh, uh, as we've been doing. Uh, the Lord is blessing us and the seem as though that we are responding uh, um, appropriately by giving, continue to give. Amen. If you have any problems in your giving, we, we have all on Cash App, I want you to call Chris Skaggs. Amen. Uh, and to, to if you need have any need or assistance in uh, giving. Amen. Well, that concludes today's sermon. I want to encourage you uh, to participate, amen, in our prayer meeting on Wednesday on Zoom. Amen. Uh, uh, we'll send out the instructions for our members to participate. And I want to encourage our members to uh, get involved in uh, 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 our prayer meetings on Wednesday at seven o'clock. Also, that we're on YouTube, cha the the YouTube channel, uh, Grace Tabernacle uh, Dallas, uh, and uh, the uh, the link is sent out to you. I uh, want you to uh, get involved. Amen. Also, in our um, um, YouTube. Amen. Well, we'll see you next Sunday, same time, uh, same place at uh, 11 o'clock. Uh, and uh, let us conclude with prayer and benediction. Let's go to God. Father, we come. We thank you 
for the uh, privilege, Lord, of proclaiming your word. And we pray now, God, that your word, Lord, will be a blessing. And God, we pray now, God, that you would uh, help us to see life uh, from the right perspective. Uh, Lord, may we uh, come to know you, God, uh, from the being the kind of God who gives good gifts. Thank you for what you've done in our life. Thank you for what you're going to do. And now unto him who's able to keep us from falling and to present us fallers in the presence of his own glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Father, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, henceforth and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen. See you next Sunday.